Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new review. I will continue with the review on the Demons of Chaos and this time I will review the Fast Attack. And the units that are going to be under review are the Flesh Hounds, Screamers, Plague Bones, Seekers of Slanish and Hellflyer. All the units are between 120 and 130 points and as you can see the Furies are not in the scope of this review and it's mainly because they can change depending on the mark and maybe I will do a review aside of the Furies so this, in this review I will focus on the units that are dedicated to one of the gods and as usual the first thing I will check is what are the basic movement so we have to say that, that this is fast attack units so all are pretty fast and all have a special movement but I will say the fastest one are the Screamers because they are jet bikes then it's followed by the Hellflyer it's a chariot and it's fast so it can move 12 and can do 12 inches in flat, in flat out we have the Seekers of Slanish they are cavalry but they add plus 3 when they flee we have the Flesh Hounds that are beast and then we have the Plague the ones maybe the slower but in that case, they can move in the soul phase because they are jet infantry. I have to say also that the flesh hounds have the advantage that they can scout at the beginning of the of the game, but as a counter or as a drawback, then they cannot assault if they move first or they move or they have the first turn. And we find that in the fast attack choices there are not shooting units and there are not psyker units so no possibility to have any shooting in the fast attack option so if you're looking for shooting don't look in fast attack demons and now we are going to see how they resist the shooting and i will say that the best resisting shooting are the plague drones especially if they are under cover they are by far the best unit resisting shooting as you can see in the figures. These figures what represent is the, no, the average number of shots for each strength that you need to kill the whole unit. For example, if you have a weapon of strength 4 and you want to kill the 8 flesh hounds, you will need 40 shots as average. On the other side, if we look at the screamers you will need less shooting 20 so 35 shots sorry the other thing is that the hell flare is the weakest unit except when we are talking about um strength 3 4 or potion weapons that are not damaging the chariot but because they only have two hull points and the armor is 11 is quite weak unit compared to the to all the other choices, and is resisting much less um, shooting from the opponents. I also have to say that when I do this calculation, I calculate hits directly. So this number is the number of hits, not the number of shots. So this will be more shots depending, more or less shots depending on the ability. Uh, or the shooting ability of the opponent or the ballistic ability of the opponent so this means for example if you have a um, ballistic skill for uh, three for example and you want to kill all the flesh hounds with a weapon that is a strength four you will need an average 80 shots but it's a lot so summarizing this part the drones are the more resilient, especially if they are in cover. But the flesh hounds are not bad, neither. The weakest units are the slanish units, that, uh, and especially the Hellflyer chariot that can be killed very easily with weapons of higher strength. And now, if we look to the assault uh, a strength or, or the close combat strength of each unit we see that Slanish 
is the strongest in that case. So the Seekers of Slanesh is by far the strongest unit and is winning in any combination except when fighting the kind of pet rat. So here I just pick some units from other codecs and I calculate what is the average wounds that you will cause and what is the average wounds that you will receive. And I do this supposing that I charge and I also repeat this supposing that you're receiving charge to see if the unit is very dependent or not on the charge. As you can see, the Seekers of Slanish are pretty strong, especially because they have a lot of attacks. They are 10 and they have three attacks each. And they have, in most of the cases, higher initiative than the opponent. The only case that they are they are not that good is with the kind of pet wraith when they receive charge and when they fight with um, witches especially if they receive the charge because they have the same initiative in all the other cases they will cause enough casualties to minimize the attacks back flesh hounds are also very good and screamers are the next ones and then one that one that is very curious is the Hell Flyer of Slanish. It's very good when assaulting, but it's very bad receiving assaults. So if you want to use this chariot, take into account that if you receive a, a, a charge, most likely you are going to be killed. Take into account that I compare two, I, I take into account two chariots. And to be to have the same points of all the other units, each chariot is 60 points, so all these stats are based on assault of two chariots. And then the plague drones are not very good. They only they only better than other units when they assault high uh, units with high toughness. As you can see, they can if they fight wraith blades that are have toughness six. Is one of the is one one of the only cases where the drones are doing well, and that table is summarizing the table that I showed before. So the number we see here is the is that I add all the wounds that the unit will cause, and I subtract all the units that the all the wounds that the unit will receive. So. That means that, for example, Seekers of Slanish that have 70, in average, they will cast 70 more wounds than they will receive. You see also the Health Flyer is quite good and is comparable to the Flesh Hounds, but it's because when, they, when the Health Flyer is assaulting, thanks to the Hammer of Wrath, they, it's causing a lot of casualties. But on the other side, he will, receive a lot of, uh, he will be killed if he is receiving a charge. And I also check how they perform assaulting vehicles. And here, surprisingly, the drones, the plague drones, are better than than the screamers. And it's because the plague drones have the the plague sword, and the plague sword is causing a glancing with a six, with the number of attacks. This is the the, the average hull points that you will take out from the vehicle. So if we look at vehicles with low armor, armor 10, armor 11, flesh hounds are doing pretty well, and also the seekers of Slanish. If we look vehicles of armor 13 and armor 14, the best choices are the screamers and the plague drones. So as we have seen on the troops, Nargel is not a bad option if we want to destroy vehicles. Because thanks to the ability of the plague sword, they cause glancing hits with sixes. So as a conclusion, flesh hounds is a very fast unit that is quite good. is is one of the best in close combat and have a good resistance. So is a is a is a unit that will have multiple uses. is good against light vehicles. is good against infantry. And it's quite resilient and fast. So it's making it's it's quite a good choice and it's quite scary for your opponents. Screamers 
are the fastest unit in 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 the fast attack option, but is not as good in close combat. I think it is is not as good, but it can damage vehicles thanks to the ability they have. I think Screamers are, is a good supporting unit, very fast to to hold objectives if it's needed or to score points, and also is very fast and is good to hunt um, small units and to eliminate them from the battlefield. If they have to fight dedicated close combat unit, screamers are not the best choice. Then we have the plate drones, and plate drones are very similar to what's happening in elite choices and on, on troops. So they are very resilient, but as a drawback, they are not that good in close combat. Indeed, the, the plague drones are the worst unit in the fast attack options in close combat for the same points of for the same cost points. So I see plague drones to be used to hold objective and to give support to other units, and they will need to solve together with other units if they don't if they want to succeed. Also quite good to end up damage vehicles. So if you have a vehicle next to them with one or two hull points, they are good in finishing this vehicle. Seekers of Slanish, very fast, the best unit in close combat, but we have to be careful because they are very weak. And the same will apply to the Hell Flyer. So they are very easily killed by the shooting of your opponent. So you have to be very careful how you move this unit, how you prepare the assault, and be careful because if they receive shooting, they will be erased from the battlefield. The same for the Hell Flyer, but on top of that, Hell Flyer cannot receive charges. So if you charge an enemy unit and you kill, be sure that if they, if you, your enemy is counterattacking you, will kill the Hell Flyer very easily. And the problem is that in close combat. Your, the opponent can hit to the rider, and this is making the chariot very weak and very easy to kill. Almost any unit can kill the rider because only have one wound, toughness three, and five plus invulnerable save. And that's all what I want to share in that video. I think you find it useful and informative. Please. Share with me if I miss something or give your comment. How do you, do you use these units to complete this video? Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.